Hey, you guys. Good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon. Um, slightly different setup. Bear with me as I get my morning started. My day. Oh, my God. It's not morning. Get my day started. Make my coffee. And um, I hope you guys appreciate my opinion on this whole song. Um, sorry for the little scratching noise. Soft life, soft girl era. Now... I know that there has been this boom of it just simply seeming like it's just an aesthetic. And what makes me sad is when I see black women saying, oh, well, it's just a scam and it's just a whole bunch of, you know, they're trying to uh, make money or sell this dream and that's not reality or it's just an aesthetic. It's not real life. And when I see the hashtag and when I see the Pinterest mood boards, um, I feel, I see both sides. I believe and feel like the soft girl era and soft life should not just be packaged to be fancy picnic charcuterie board spreads with wine, high, high end shopping, just, um, world travel and things that seem very exclusive and expensive and like not part of every not not every day not reality but at the same time why not at the same time why do we have a problem with seeing black women doing all the things that a lot of other women that's never been um a a, a question to them they've always had these experiences they've always had these things and what's wrong with showcasing us experiencing nice things and that make making that the gold as well? So now you have to ask yourself, are you threatened by these things or have an issue? I wouldn't even say threatened, but have an issue with it because it is unattainable. You feel like it's unattainable or something that you can never um, experience or you deserve or your or your worth or you know you have access to is it a tinge of jealousy and like okay well they're entitled they must have a rich white sugar daddy or this is part of that whole you know um just just <laughs> date white men to tap into that world is that your limiting belief do you think that um it's wrong for women to want something different than what we've been doing all these years, which is, you know, boss, hustle, grind, strong, independent. I can do it all. Go, 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 go. You know, these are things that you have to start asking yourself. What is it that you believe when you see certain things? Because there's power in our beliefs because they become true. So for if you lined up a, a line, a row of black women, and one woman said, well, I resonated with it because I had never experienced that type of, um, not even lifestyle, but just way of thinking, way of moving, way of being. And I don't want to work hard anymore. I'm tired. I was exhausted. I don't want to be the, the main breadwinner, or I don't want to feel like, all I can um, look forward to in life is, um, I don't know, some of the stereotypical things that are, are tied to what black people like or, or, or what, what, what they think we do. And again, it's not about a white or black thing, to be clear, but I just think it's interesting how other groups of women aren't having these debates. Other cultures aren't having these debates. They just show up and they just are. And maybe they because they don't call it anything, maybe because it's not a movement, maybe because it's not anything that that is new to them, maybe that's the thing that is kind of um, throwing people off. Because living your best life, doing what you want to do, again, moving in a sense of ease, receiving beautiful things around you, a sense of deserving, being present, slowing down, enjoying the little things like a damn picnic with wine, 
you know, having showing our feet up and heels, showing us eating hors d'oeuvres and dainty, fancy foods, okay? Toasting to the good life, seeing the world. These are not things that anyone has to like, okay, well, do you deserve it? Because I don't think you deserve it. I don't think you're ready to really um, be a part of this. So, you know, let's let's have a conversation about why black women now are being called out for showing up doing these things or taking pictures or whatever. So there's a very different, there's two sides to every story. And what I wanted to bring to the forefront on my channel about any hashtag, any movement, any any trending thing that really is just promoting women being in their feminine, women doing less and we're getting more, women enjoying life, women taking a step back, women taking time to be beautiful and, you know, show up like a celebrity. Shoot, no one is questioning when a celebrity lives her life like this. It's all now, it's all I'm here for it. Yes, queen, yes. But you can't step into that same energy and moment. And, and I'm not talking for your birthday, for Valentine's Day. It can be a lifestyle. Should the focus be all on um, being, you know, a top consumer? It doesn't have to be about that. So if you don't buy Louis Vuitton, if you don't go to Tiffany's, if you don't, um, you know, go to these high-end boutiques and enter this high society. Well, that's not soft girl. Era. That's not soft life. Okay, we don't need to go that far. But where can you adopt bits and pieces where you want to incorporate it to live your best life and do something different, to rewrite your story, to experience new things when you start showing up for yourself when you start putting yourself as a priority when you start saying no to bottom shelf low level going nowhere fast just regular schmegular been there done that things and you're open to new experiences you're open opening to because remember let me at the listen there we're in our 30s so you know, there comes a time when you're like, I, I'm not, I don't want to go to TJ Fridays anymore. You may want to learn more about foods and um, fine dining and a whole nother level to what you put in your body at the end of the day. Okay. In your 30s, you don't want to just go and grab a six pack of beer. You want to go and experience maybe, maybe. I'm speaking for myself now, but in my 30s, it was a shift of like what I used to do, what I do now. A group of friends is like, yeah, let's just go, you know, grab some drinks from 7-Eleven and, 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 and just chill. Now I'm like, I want to go to a winery. <laughs> I want to go to a wine festival. I want to try something upscale, different. You know what I mean? Like we're not doing the same stuff anymore. So I feel validated in wanting the best of the best. I feel validating in knowing I deserve the best of the best. And if that looks like for me, touring Europe to try foods and go shopping, who cares what I choose to do? What's soft life and soft girl era for me? To someone else, it could be, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So we have to stop at the end of the day, being divided and wasting time on these debates when it's like, okay, let's just answer the question. You, you go first. Do you, are you at peace? Do you rest? <laughs> Do you take time for yourself? Do you struggle with anxiety and depression because you take on too much? Are you working too hard? Do you get dressed? Do you own makeup? Do you do, you do anything to yourself that, you know, pours into yourself, enhances your natural beauty, and helps you show up for your best self? Do you do anything for fun that you enjoy, that you 
prioritize and make time for, or do you wait for a date? Do you wait for a guy to be like, oh, you you know, I can, what do you want to do? That you met on Tinder. Let's be real. Or are you actively and um, strategically and intentionally saying, this is how I want my life to look and feel day to day. I don't wait for special occasions. I don't wait for that guy, my future husband. I don't wait. Money is not an issue to me. I do what I want. And these are things that I enjoy that are beautiful that I want to experience. I'm not doing the same things I used to do anymore. I'm not, I'm not running myself ragged and not enjoying what I want to enjoy. I'm not, you know, those are the kind of conversations I think we as black women need to bring to the forefront instead of debating whether soft girl era and soft life is real or meant for us. <laughs> you know? You decide what luxury is for you. You decide what your budget is. You decide if, you know, what what works for you. I'm not here to I'm not here to make anybody feel bad about that. What I love to see again to clarify is women showing up fulfilled showing up happy showing up like look at her oh my gosh yes yes on the yacht with her wine yes yes touring whatever city and country she so chooses yes yes to wearing that outfit that makes her feel and look like a queen yes to the princess treatment Yes to, you know, only dating and dealing with men that can give you more of that because you deserve it. So what if you think it's an aesthetic? <laughs> so what? Can you live it? Can you experience? Can you tap into that? And why not? And not so much why not or not make it a goal because, you know, some people might be like, well, that costs money. I have to work. Well, where can you save yourself? Problem solve, create a plan, create a strategy so that those things can be more accessible. A lot of times we find that our money is bleeding out to toxicity. We're dating the type of men that can't give it to us, won't give it to us, don't know nothing about it anyway. Okay. Or we don't believe that we can even experience these things. So, I'm glad I kept this video short and sweet. That is my personal opinion. Um, I'm almost 34, so I ain't just talking to be talking now. You know what I mean? And um, I just want to always see the good in something come from a positive standpoint and say, wait a minute now. You know, let's, let's put now the conversation on self-accountability because it all comes back to you is you mad because you know you're just not there yet or is you mad because there are ways in your there are areas in your life excuse me where you are self-sabotaging you don't you you don't believe that you can even do those things there's something wrong with that and that's where you might need to do some inner work. That's where you may need to do some healing. That's where you need to have some hard conversations. That might be where you need to push pause. You're worried about everything else. Why don't you think you can do these things? Experience these things. Have these things. Deserve these things. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Until next one. Peace. Bye.